This module covers International ProStar electrical components and how they are different or similar to those found on other international vehicles. As with most international vehicles, the International ProStar uses an alphanumeric system to identify wiring circuits. Use the electrical circuit diagrams on ISIS to decode the letters and numbers on the wiring. The letter identifies the location on the vehicle, while the number identifies the specific circuit. Electrical symbols are also used in these diagrams. Some of these include the fuse, LED, resistor, relay, and magnetic sensor. For more information on the alphanumeric wiring system used by International, refer to the wiring program within the Electrical System Series Basics DVD. The body controller is the brain of the International ProStar electrical system and is located behind the left kick panel. It replaces the ESC used in pre-2007 vehicles. The body controller has more inputs and outputs than the ESC and provides SAE-compliant fault code reporting. The body controller monitors and controls the system and distributes electrical current to components. System monitoring and control is accomplished by communication with controllers and components. Optional modules may be located behind the lower console. These may include the load shedding, telematics, and tire pressure. The Power Distribution Center, or PDC, on the ProStar is in the same location as on other international vehicles, such as the 8500 and 8600, now known as the Transtar series. It also features the same circuit breakers, fuses, and fuse blocks, but has new end blocks. It also features new, smaller relays. All fusing is in one location, except with sleeper models, which have a separate fuse block for the sleeper itself. The instrument cluster of the International ProStar shares the same cluster housing and mounting as other international vehicles, such as the 8500 and 8600, now known as the Transtar series. However, it features distinctive gauges and new lower switch packs. Warning. When an alarm sounds, stop normal vehicle operation and determine the source of the alarm condition. An alarm sounds during out-of-range gauge readings and when certain warning lights are activated. An alarm also sounds when any engine sensor unit fails, when there is an electronic system fault, and when the red engine light is illuminated. Refer to ISIS for a list of warning light and audible alarm conditions. The digital display below the speedometer and tachometer is arranged in four quadrants. The quadrants can be individually displayed and navigated using the display control button. Some of the options currently available include general text and warning messages, compass heading, outside temperature, fuel economy, front and rear axle load, and transmission gear position. Some messages are used in conjunction with cluster warning lights. The digital display can also be used to retrieve DTCs if the vehicle is optioned or programmed with this feature and not equipped with the vehicle information display. The Vehicle Information Display, or VID, 
interfaces with a variety of vehicle modules through multiple communication channels to provide information not included in the instrument cluster, as well as to clarify certain data displayed on the cluster. Warning! Never use the vehicle information display while driving. Driving while distracted could result in an accident. The vid powers up when the key is turned to the ignition or accessory position. During power-up, the splash screen is displayed. This is a startup screen that displays the international logo. The display changes to the main menu and is fully operational in less than 10 seconds. When the key switch is turned off, the display begins a power-down sequence and all pertinent data is saved. The LCD screen is enabled or disabled based on operating conditions and power-up, power-down conditions. The LCD screen's backlighting is controlled by a photocell located below button number 3 at the lower left corner of the display. The photocell constantly measures the amount of light and adjusts the backlighting as needed. This function can also be enabled or disabled. The main menu provides access to the following areas of the vehicle information display. Trip meter, fuel economy, usage, diagnostic codes, prognostics, setup, and video. An Enter Password screen appears for all password-protected areas. Once password access is granted, password requests for other screens are bypassed. This access lasts until the ignition is turned off. The numeric buttons are used to enter the password. Then press the Select button to continue to the next screen. The first option on the main menu is the Trip menu, which provides detailed trip statistics. The next option is the Fuel Economy menu. This feature provides the operator with an extended fuel economy monitor when the ignition is in the on position. The third option on the main menu is the Usage menu. This tracks chassis and engine information over the life of the vehicle. The Diagnostics Code option allows you to retrieve active and inactive diagnostic codes. The process for recovering diagnostic codes is covered in Module 3. The next option is the Prognostics menu. This provides information from the optional sensor modules on the vehicle. The sensor-related information includes tire pressure and temperature, brake system conditions, air system supply pressures, and prognostic reset. Any components added after vehicle production requires Diamond Logic Builder or DLB programming to update the vid to display sensor information. The sensor modules send data as J1939 messages. If any sensor reading is outside an operating range, the vid alerts the operator. If a critical failure is detected, a warning message is displayed. Press the Select button to acknowledge the warning and view the warning details. Press the Back button to view additional warnings or cautions. After viewing all warnings and cautions, the vid displays the prognostics menu. Press the Home button to view the main menu. The following are monitored and generate a warning message if a fault is found during power-up conditions. Tire pressure, brake monitor, and the air system. The setup menu allows the operator to adjust the system settings to personal preferences. The setup menu also contains the version information for the vid which can be useful when communicating any concerns with tech services. The pop-up warning section of the Diagnostic Code Setup screen allows the operator to disable some or all warning messages. Data for this display comes from a list in the display memory of all diagnostic messages currently active in the vehicle. None forces the vid to ignore any diagnostic messages from all devices. This option disables all pop-up and start-up warning messages. Partial allows only severe warnings to be displayed. All allows all warnings. 
The Message List section of this screen allows the user to select which diagnostic codes and information are displayed. If Active is selected, only active diagnostic codes are visible without a password. In order to view inactive codes, a password must be entered. The All setting shows active and inactive codes without a password. If None is selected, a password is required to view any diagnostic codes. The Video Menu option displays multiple video feeds from outside the vehicle. These can be connected through the video inputs on the rear of the unit. For more information on the vehicle information display for the International ProStar, refer to the Operator's Manual found on ISIS. The center dash panel features multiplexed switches, the radio, HVAC controls, alternate power sources, and optional gauges. Battery voltage is also supplied for two optional switches. There are four optional gauges available for the center dash panel to help monitor the vehicle while in service. These include brake application pressure, turbocharger boost pressure, front rear and rear rear axle lubricant temperature. Up to 23 switches can be located in the center dash panel. Depending on the model and how it is optioned, the sleeper control panel can include the engine control switch, climate controls, remote power inverter, and the idle control system. Warning! Never use the engine control switch to start the engine unless the transmission is in neutral and the parking brake is applied. The International ProStar has an optional engine control switch located in the sleeper area. This allows the operator to start or shut down the engine from the sleeper. This system includes three relays in the PDC, three relays in the sleeper fuse block and relay center, four switches, and an alarm. The sleeper engine control switch is located in a switch pack in the center dash panel. It is a two-position latching switch that enables and disables the engine control switch in the sleeper compartment. The engine control switch is a two-position momentary switch located in the switch pack of the sleeper control panel. If the vehicle is equipped with a manual transmission, a neutral safety switch is used to verify that the transmission is in neutral. This switch is located on the transmission. The hood switch is located on the driver's side splash guard, near the headlight. It disables the start-stop function if the hood is open. Whenever the remote start function is used, an engine start alarm warns anyone near the vehicle that the engine is about to start. This alarm sounds for 15 seconds prior to the start of engine cranking. The engine start alarm is located in the driver's side engine compartment on the air cleaner mounting bracket. The optional remote power inverter converts 12 volt direct current into 120 volt alternating current. The power indicator light illuminates green when the unit is on. A blinking green light indicates the power inverter is in standby mode and the batteries are charging. 
The fault indicator light turns solid red to indicate the power inverter is in over temperature, overload, or battery low mode. The optional cab thermostat is the control panel for the Cummins Idle Management System, or ICON, and is mounted on the rear wall of the sleeper compartment. For more information, refer to Cummins ICON training. The HVAC driver control panel is located at the bottom of the center console. The control panel has separate control knobs for blower speed, temperature, and mode of operation. For more information, refer to Performance AC Program 4, International ProStar Series. Lights on with wipers allows the low beam headlights to automatically turn on when the windshield wipers are in steady or intermittent mode. The low beams remain on until the ignition switch is turned off or the headlights are cycled on and off. This feature is not activated with the washer function. Also available on the International ProStar is the Wiper Override feature. This overrides the windshield wiper control, slowing the wipers to the lowest intermittent speed when the vehicle is stationary with the parking brake set. This prevents damage to the windshield and wiper blades. The ABS ECU is located on the right kick panel behind the trim panel. It is mounted with four rosebud push-in fasteners. The ABS system may also include traction control and roll stability, depending on the options selected and the manufacturer of the braking system. Depending on the manufacturer of the brake system on the vehicle, there may be sensors for brake demand pressure, lateral acceleration, yaw rate, steering angle, and load. The optional Wabco Roll Stability Control, or RSC system, is an enhancement to the core ABS and Automatic Traction Control, or ATC system. It provides roll stability by controlling the brakes on the drive and trailer axles. The optional Bendix electronic stability system works like the Wabco RSC, except that the Bendix system provides all axle braking. The Bendix system has sensors that monitor brake pressure, steering angle, load and yaw rate, and speed of response. There are two components added to the base Wabco ABS and ATC system for roll stability control the lateral acceleration sensor, and the RSC valve. The lateral acceleration sensor is inside the Wabco ABS ECU. It detects side forces acting upon the vehicle. The RSC valve is mounted on the frame rail near the front of the vehicle. It controls the flow of air pressure to the trailer brakes during an RSC event. Available as an option on the International ProStar, the E-Stroke Brake Chamber Monitoring System uses Hall Effect sensors inside each of the brake chambers to track the position of each slack adjuster. A pressure transducer in the foot valve air circuit alerts the system when the foot valve has been pressed. These signals are processed by the Vehicle Sensor Module, or VSM. With this information, the amount of pushrod travel can be determined. This way, the system can tell if the brakes are in a normal or overstroke condition. In addition, the e-stroke system indicates a dragging brake or a non-activating brake. The VSM and the VID communicate over the J1939 data link. The VID displays brake characteristics to the driver. 
The driver can access this information by going to the Diagnostic menu and selecting Brake Monitor. The optional Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, advises the driver of air pressure and temperature within the tire. The components that make up this system are wheel electronic units mounted to the inside of each wheel rim, one front and two rear antennas, and a TPMS electronic controller located behind the lower console. Each of the wheel electronic units includes a sensor and a microcontroller with integrated transmitter to measure and report the amount of pressure and temperature at each tire. Each of these units has its own specific transmitter ID. This allows the TPMS ECU to assign a transmitted data signal to a specific wheel. The information is periodically transmitted from the wheel electronic unit to the antennas. These antennas relay the information through LIN bus to the TPMS ECU. The TPMS ECU evaluates the incoming data and sends a J1939 message to the VID. If a leak is detected, the wheel electronics go into rapid transmit mode so that pressure readings will be updated more often. When this occurs, a pop-up warning indicates that there is pressure loss. Additional pop-up warnings are shown when tire pressure has fallen below the desired threshold pressure value and again for critically low pressure. Critical tire temperature is indicated the same way. Warning. The Eaton Vorad Collision Warning System is intended solely as an aid for an alert driver. It is not to be used or relied upon to operate a vehicle. This system should be used in conjunction with mirrors and other instrumentation. The Eaton Vorad Collision Warning System uses forward and side looking sensors to monitor vehicles ahead or in the blind spot of the vehicle. The Smart Cruise feature uses cruise control to maintain a fixed distance between the International ProStar and the vehicle in front of it. If a vehicle enters a blind spot of the ProStar, or if the ProStar approaches too close to the preceding vehicle, a visual and audible warning alerts the driver. For more information on Vorex,